Hi, I'm Alicia Malone, and tonight on TCM we have a great lineup for you, composed of 1950s film noir. Of course, the genre of film noir began in the early 1940s with shadowy dark mysteries such as The Maltese Falcon. The good guys were tough, weary, cynical detectives like Sam Spade, and the bad guys could also be bad girls in the form of the femme fatale. These movies got even darker as the 1940s went on. During the post-war years, film noir tapped into feelings of despondency and disillusionment in America. Then came the 1950s, and with the growing unease about communism and Hollywood in the spotlight, a focus on the outsider became more pronounced. Only now, it wasn't so much the detectives as the protagonists, but the killers themselves. As Paul Schrader wrote in his essay Notes on Film Noir, the noir hero, seemingly under the weight of 10 years of despair, started to go bananas. We'll see exactly that in our first film, It's Angel Face, which premiered in December 1952, but not officially released until 1953. This was directed by Otto Preminger, who had made his name in the genre with Laura from 1944. And he'd just finished directing the noir The Thirteenth Letter for 20th Century Fox when he was summoned to the office of studio head Daryl Zanuck, who wanted Preminger to direct a noir at RKO as a favour to Howard Hughes. The script was titled Murder Story and Preminger didn't like it, so he tried to turn it down. Then Howard Hughes came calling on him at three in the morning to convince him, and Hughes was also angry that his star Gene Simmons was about to be out of her contract. Hughes wanted to use the 18 shooting days she owed RKO, and knew Preminger could deliver a film within that time. So Preminger hired Frank Nugent and Oscar Miller to work on a new script, which features Gene Simmons as the daughter of a wealthy businessman who will stop at nothing to get her own way. Herbert Marshall plays her father, and Robert Mitchum is the family's chauffeur. Preminger said he enjoyed working with Simmons, but she remembered it differently, that he had slapped her, and Mitchum came to her defence, punching Preminger in the nose. Here we go, from 1953, this is Angel Face. <laughs> 